Uh, we were going to the Methodist Church. It was a mile, first Methodist Church was a mile south of our house. But uh, Gene and Wilbur Wrights were going there with us, and so Gene and Wilbur and their family left. They came to the house and wanted us to go to visit the church that they were going to. Uh, and I said, "No, nah, we don't want to. I, we'll just stay where we're at." And so. This was a couple years later, I came home. Well, first before that, the Doug or jo Joyce and Mike had went to the church or to the a crusade, a countywide crusade, with them, and they came back. And that was the year we had the monkey because they took the monkey to the. Uh, they had an animal day, pet day at the crusade. <laughs> so those kids took the monkey to the crusade, or to the, yeah, crusade. Kids deal. So anyhow, they both had accepted Christ, and they came home telling us about it, and it didn't mean a thing. It went right in one ear and out the other. It was nothing. So the next year, I came home from work and Grandma says, uh, Gene and Wilbur were down. They've got that county crusade going again and they want us to go. I said, okay, we'll go. But this will just be once and then we won't have to worry about going again. Well, that was the first time that I had ever been set under the preaching of the gospel, the true gospel knowing that you needed to be born again. So, I think that was a Friday night. We went Saturday night, and we went Sunday night. And they had an altar call, and Grandma says, I'm gonna go forward, I wanna, I wanna get right with the Lord, I wanna give my heart to Him. Okay. So here I am standing here in, in a, not in the aisle, but in the row of chairs. And I had Tanya hanging on to her, holding her, and I had your dad by the hand. And it just as if the Lord said to me, and it was very audible, if you don't make a stand for me now, you never will. So we went, I took, carried Tanya, and hand, had Doug by the hand, and down the aisle we went. And I found Grandma and Wendell Boyer, pastor of the People's Church, the one that worked with us. It lifted a burden. It really did. You don't realize it until it happens. It comes from the heart. It lifted a burden that had been planted or the Lord had sowed. This was in August of 1963. And we stayed, tried to stay in the Methodist Church We'd go to the Methodist Church in the morning and go to the Alliance in the afternoon evening service. <laughs> and it just said, it, it was so much different. We weren't getting fed. We, we weren't getting into what we felt we wanted or needed to get into to, to, to get out of the Bible what we should get. And so we broke from the Methodist Church then and started going to the Alliance full time. And that's where we were at until I moved down here. Commitment to the Word of God. There's no commitment anymore, very little. To take the Bible for what the, the Bible is really about and the true meaning of what God has for us in that word. I've done things I can understand and, and uh, there's some things that have not been right, but God has dealt with me on them. And I knew and I know what was wrong and what was right. But when God deals with you and, and you know it, He'll bring you back.